Brand management is the creation and the execution of plans designed to strengthen consumers' perception of a brand. Brand management is an ongoing operational activity within a consumer business or indeed within a business to business organization as well. Its intent is to strengthen the public perception of the brand, to enhance brand loyalty, and therefore to grow brand equity. So an important part of brand management is making sure that everything aligns with your chosen brand identity. These include things like your products and their packaging, your communication, any events you run, any sub brands that you have, and of course, any stylistic choices and elements that run alongside all of this. So the task of brand management is to create and enforce a blueprint for your brand that establishes and maintains its strong identity. It gives your organization the research basis, the guidelines and the strategies to enhance your brand's reputation with your customers. And you do that through everything from your physical products, your digital collateral and your human interactions. And there is a huge array of marketing tools and techniques that we use in brand management. By bringing all of these together, we increase brand equity and therefore brand loyalty. And that brings with it huge benefits. We get a reduced cost of sales, the ability to increase the market price of our products, and crucially, the capacity to withstand minor knocks to the reputation of our brand. The brand management process starts with identifying the core value of our brand to its customers and finding ways to reflect that value back to them. The detail of the brand management process is way outside of our scope, but any manager needs to understand an outline of the key steps. So that's what we'll look at next. First, you need to define the vision, the values, the personality, and the big idea behind your company or your product. The second step is to define the personality traits, the needs, the profiles of your ideal target customers that mesh with your brand. This allows you to reflect your core brand value to the right people. Third, you need to find language, words that reflect your brand's core value. You'll use these to establish the product name, the tagline or motto that goes with the brand, the kinds of phrases you'll use to describe it, and the tone of voice you will use in all communication. Fourth, you also need to craft a visual identity that will come to symbolize your brand. This will include things like a graphic style, colors, fonts, and shapes. Next, you need to identify the behaviors and the cultural norms that will positively reinforce your brand and its values. These are the behaviors that you will come to expect of your employees and any representatives of your company who are participating in marketing or selling your products or services. Sixth, you need to include in your plan how you are going to ensure that you use your brand assets consistently. This will include physical spaces, but also online and in the behaviors that people exhibit. A part of this will be a style manual, which will show how people will use your brand assets in things like written communication, adverts, and promotional materials. And seventh, you need to be true to your brand in every interaction, communication, and decision. Your attitudes have to align with your brand values. You need to reinforce this message with all of your company's employees and with the employees of your business partners. Brand management is far more than a written plan. It's a living thing and it has to live in the hearts and the minds of the brand's representatives. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. 
There'll be loads more great management courses content to come, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.